Hi, Jake. Um, I thought I would just uh, quickly throw this together real quick for you, um, just to show you the uh, the whole sweep three and um, how he has it set up. So wait, let's bounce over there. <clears throat> I'll move my mug up here. All right, so I have three curves out here. Um, actually, there's four. So the way I get these would be if you go up here and you click your ring rail, okay, I want a half like so, and I click OK, and now I've got a ring rail. Uh, let's see here. That's because I have two there with uh, nine points on it, okay? Now I'm going to undo that because I only want that one curve. All right, so there's just one there now. So now the next thing, all I did was I took this curve that I made, and the first thing I did was I just dragged and duplicated it over here, okay? And then from here, I just used the this mirror tool on the X, okay? This curve, I took this one here from the front, and I just simply used curve offset like this. And then once I got it here, um, I turned on the control points and moved this up and got this shaped how I want to. Now, I have this saved in my library, so it's not like I have to go build this all the time. So one of the nice little things that, uh, that they do is you you decide where you want these libraries to be i just click on here project manager okay and as an example i have in here start items project library project uh fought profiles and rails so this is the rail setup that we're using right now i have the exact same thing set up for uh rhino 8 as well okay so if you wanted to add a new one you could mark this as a star you can change the root directory. Here's where I have it right now. Um, I can browse and change that. Uh, you can put it in a shared file, whatever you want to do. So you decide where all that goes and what it's doing. You can even send it to a URL if you'd like. Um, a lot of options there. Um, you can put in here your new uh, file name and uh, save the selected items that you have there. Okay, so that that's how I got to this point. Now, the next thing was this profile. The key to doing this is this profile and this profile have to have the same number of points. So all I did was, this is what I had done. I'll just make another set here. We'll put them in this color. And I just went up here and used this uh, curve mirror Y, okay? And I just went up here and said, okay, I want to do kind of like this. And we'll do this, and then I'll close it. Okay. And now once I have that, I can move these around, make this whatever shape I want it to be. And kind of gave me something um, a little bit like, like this. Okay. So there's 11 points in that one. OK, um, then I select that and this this is a way I use his uh, auxiliary panel. This way I can change the size to exactly what I want. And as you can see, now that adjusts the size. OK, so it's two by two point two high. All right. Now, um, so if I was going to make another one like this, I would just simply drag and hit alt. I would fire up the command. I'd go in here now and just simply move my points out to get the shape here that I want for my second profile. This way I know they have the exact same number of points, which is critical for this. Otherwise, the, the command can fail. All right. So that's, that's how you do that. Now, the next thing. So for now, I'm going to just get rid of those. I'll just hide them. Now, so for the, the three rail sweep, 
that's this button right here. There's actually even a four rail sweep as well. So on the three rail sweep, I would select that and it says select your first rail. So I'm going to take care of these at the finger rail and shoot this one and then my third outside rail. OK, now it says right here, press select a curve for section zero. This is zero. So whatever curve or profile you want down here at zero, that's what we're going to select right now. OK. So I'm going to select that. Now, it says select a point on the rail that's greater than one. So anywhere beyond one, the very next uh, uh, cross section or control point, anywhere beyond there, if you select the number, you can place another rail. OK, so I'm going to put the next rail. I'm going to put it at five. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I have to select this one. Sorry. Uh, you have to look at your A rail. So I'm going to select five and notice the color changes. OK. And and then it says select a curve for section five. So now I want this curve. Now it says anything greater than six. And I'm going to put the last one up here at eight. I'm going to put a top profile up here, make it the same. And then, of course, the next thing, uh, it's kind of a wonky color I had there, but there we go. So now, as you can see, it basically sweeps at and keeps the same number of cross sections, keeping the, your control points all the same. But then, then you have this great little thing here. So notice, See how these dot colors correspond to the curved color, okay? So this is telling me that it's sticking the profile. It's grabbing the profile and parking it at that corner, this top point, and this corner here. Now, you can change that. So we could flip that upside down as an example, okay? So what if you wanted the reverse? So this is it'll take these, these profiles, flip them, uh, just simply by pressing that button, okay? You can set it off to the side if you want. So it extends it out, makes this center point, see, and moves everything out. So you could really get some, you know, crazy stuff going here. Um, obviously, this is what we actually want, but it's just neat that you can... I've actually done some of this and, and pulled out some shapes that I probably wouldn't have done had I not uh, been playing around with this. So anyways, so there you go. Now, once this is done, there's a couple things obviously you can do. We can go in here, re-click the, the tool. Now I can say, you know what? I, I don't want this to be a sharp point. I want this to have this, okay? So we'll put a groove in it. And there you go, okay? You had a question on, well, what if you wanted a European shank? Well, what if we do? So from the front, I'm just going to put shade in on here. So from the front, I can take this guy and do this. I can take this guy and bring him down here, kind of like so. And now, what were you asking me again about the... Uh, having the uh, uh, European shank. And we can go back here and select this again. And we can straighten this back up the way we had it. If we wanted to. And boom, everything updates with history. Now, where history is going to break is when we start changing the width on this. Um, so if we take these control points here, or we take these curves and turn on. But by this point, is it really going to matter? Um, you could save this out as a, as a base uh, shank because you can take this whole shank and mirror it la later. And if you want to keep it still a NURB surface, we can simply uh, merge them as I showed in another uh, video. So everything stays the same, stays 
so that you can edit it. And um, again, this is, I love this thing. I, I, I just can't, I can't say enough. Um, I'm not going to be sharing a whole lot more now um, because so many people, I'm not going to sell, I'm not selling this. And this is just to kind of give people something to look at and I'm not going to be everybody's support. Um, I just don't have time for it. And it'd be different if I was getting something out of it, but I'm not, and I'm not going to. So um, I'll help anybody wherever they want, but I'm not going to post all the stuff. And I think I'm kind of irritating Travis anyways. So um, anyways, I love the software myself. I personally, I've been looking at Jewel Beetle and I'm telling you, I can't see any reason to buy Jewel Beetle. This though, for a thousand bucks, I... I it's it's no brainer for me. Uh, uh, this is a done deal. So um, I, I'll be using this all the time. And and the thing is, I still have the parametric in Matrix Gold if I want it. But I'm telling you, it's like an albatross running this in CCT tools or uh, or Rhino Eight. This thing is so damn nimble and light, and it feels it just feels better. And um, anyways. That's just how I feel about it. You guys all can decide for yourself because I, honestly, it doesn't matter to me what anybody does. Um, but anyways, uh, so again, you know, we could sit here and edit this, you know, all day long if we want and and do all the same things that I've been kind of saying all along that you can do. And, uh, and this is what I, I love about it. And it keeps the geometry really simple. So we could come in here if you wanted to. And um, well, here, maybe you want this top section here. We could come in here and this will break history now. Um, but everything transitions really nice. And, uh, you know, this is, this is how I like it. Um, so just right there, you can... Get an idea. We can come down here and say, okay, well, let's let's take these guys and uh, let's change our our width in here. And we can say, okay, well, let's let's make that a little bit more gradual. And you can come in here and start really shaping this thing. I mean, even even the sub D doesn't always give me the same uh, kind of effect. But the best part is, what you don't realize is, did you know? that you could now change this to a sub D surface. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so let me just show you that real quick. Um, so let's say that we leave this here and um, I'm going to turn off all the control points and let's say I do. Uh, let's see here. We're going to select this and let's go up here and let's convert this to sub D. And let's see here. I'm going to leave this as the default. I think it will just keep everything the way it is. Okay. Now watch. Let's see here. Let's see, is this a, let me get the properties here. It should have converted it. Nope, it's still surface. Uh, how did I do that before? So convert to sub D, uh, subdivision. Delete input, yes. Okay, so let's see if, okay, so there we go. Now, uh, if you look at this, it kept all of that geometry the same that we had, but now look what you have. So let's just say for some crazy reason, um, let's see, let me control shift here. And watch this. So just like that, whether you'd want to do something like that or not, I don't know. But I'm just saying, uh, here you go. We can give it a shark, 
Sharky ring shank. Look at that. Just like so. Now, is that freaking crazy or what? So again, all the things that you do in sub D, we can go in here now and look at this, man. I mean, seriously. Uh, let's see. Does this have, this should not have history on. Let's be here once. Nope, I don't know why it wasn't letting me. It's not letting me scale that. Well, anyways, I don't need to show you got you all of that stuff. So you get the idea. But that's basically how it works. And um, like I said, you decide for yourself. And um, and as I told you, I'm getting zero out of this. So just keep that in mind. So once again, I just think that. I'm telling you right now, I don't know. I have not seen any other software out there that I would pony up a thousand bucks for till I saw this. And when I saw this and I started changing these modeling techniques, some of the stuff I'm building is so much faster than any other way I've done it before. And like I told you, I'm a huge sub D guy and, and, you know, T splines I love because I was good at it and I was fast with, with T splines and I could change anything. And with the quad history or, or the um, yeah, with the, with the history functions that were built in um, and the mirroring uh, inside of T splines, I'll tell you what, in the, in the rotary, uh, the rotational axis of the, of the uh, history, it was like brilliant. And I used that constantly. And I still go back to it every once in a while because I miss and love it. But now I don't worry about it because I'm telling you, this this is freaking incredible. So anyways, I'll stop gabbing. I, and again, I'm not selling you on it, but I'm just making you aware. This is by far, there's so few things I can't do with just this line of tools right here. And that's it. I don't have to pick any of this other crap. And, you know, I, I like the parametric for some wholesale stuff that it's actually helped me, but it takes me way longer to model that way than that, than what this does. And anyways, I'm, I'm 